Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Come on, talk to me, babe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Oh, welcome to Drinking Bros <laughs> Fake News. Jesse, that was weird. What happened right there? Let's start off really strange. What is that song? Ba -na -ba -na no idea. No one knows. Send her back. <laughs> Send her back. Send her um, back. Okay, I'll go back. Yeah. Oh, I'd go back in a second, you guys. Where are you going back to? California. Yep. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dan knows. That's where that How bitch is from. Go back. Yeah, yeah you go yeah. back there. Exactly. Whew. We're we're coming in hot on fake news. We got a story right off the right off the bat. Uh, send her back last night was the chance at the yep. Trump rally last night. We were supposed to be there. Yeah, I'm glad we weren't now. We had a uh, I definitely don't want to be in a crowd saying send her back. We so I, I literally thought that when we were watching it last night yeah we had a a, a guest come in uh for monday's show tell everybody who uh ray cash yeah ray cash uh is a former navy seal yep um he's on the uh overcome and conquer podcast with jason redmond another former navy seal and uh he does some boot camps and stuff he was on the selection with bert he also showed us his dick he may or may not have he showed did. us his dick. No, he, he did. He oh, he did. He yeah, he absolutely. He pulled out his dick and balls mid show. It did not. He was unaware that this was being recorded. So yeah, I don't know to, what would have tipped him off. Maybe the fucking ninety cameras yeah, in front of us and here. the lights that yeah. are on, or for the no whole reason. studio that you we're really in. just lose yourself, though. You know what I mean? You forget. No, you, you forget don't. the cameras are even there. No, I mean, like the real world. Look, if you walk into this place and you see that there's backdrops on both studios. Maybe it's a good sign. Maybe. The, here's what I love about it, though, is topless Stacy will be on let later with the weather. Yeah. Um, and you, you would think to yourself, ah, only female nudity on this show. No. We no. Going to be some D&Bs on, uh, on Monday's episode. We also Subscribe on YouTube. We found a very creative way to mask the penis. To mask his penis and balls, yes. And I think a, a gentleman that now lives in Wyoming is going to be very pleased with what he sees. <laughs> you think pleased? Pleased yeah, is... Yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Ah, we'll find it. out. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah, who yeah. wasn't pleased last night was uh, Ilman. Is that how you pronounce it? Ilan. Ilan? Ilan, I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's Ilan. not my district, so <laughs> I don't really give a shit. But as we were watching it last night, again, because of our special guest who was in the studio, we missed, we missed it because we were going to pop on out and see some, see some friends. And yeah. uh, as soon as that chance started, send her back last night. I was like, whoops, probably shouldn't be in there for those cutaways. Yeah. Mm. I, I knew that was going to be the moment. Uh, even Trump looked a little uneasy about it, where he was just like, fuck. Did he? Yeah. Well, he said afterwards, yeah. like, hey, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't, you know. He I'm didn't not, say I'm it not, during. That's I'm for not, damn sure. I'm not going to co sign on that. I don't like that, he said. He felt kind of bad, I believe he said. Kind of bad. Which yes. is as bad as someone like him can feel. Yeah. Right, but I'm going to say at the time, in when they were chanting it, he did not seem too too bummed. No. And, and I mean, look, this, so, one, this one's a tough one, right? Right. Because you have a, a, a congresswoman from Somalia mm -hmm. who may or may not have married her brother to cheat taxes in this country illegally and get him in here. They're investigating that now. It's not tax cheating. It's it's yeah. the provision actually in the Nas Nationalization and Immigration Act that uh, Julian Cra Castro wants to get rid of. Oh, right? Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, just saying. So, <laughs> it, it, who is a Democrat, by the way? Yeah, he's a knucklehead. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to, the, this woman and her whole shit. They've they've rounded up and call themselves the Squad, right? Mm -hmm. So it's her. AOC, and then a couple other people. Ayanna something, Presley, and yeah, the Michigan, Rashida, yeah. Tlaib. Yeah. And uh, from a strategic standpoint, because like, I saw yeah. Jake Tapper on, on CNN today. I try to watch all of the news outlets um, sure. to stay informed. I know all of them are fucking slanted, but occasionally you can get a nugget out of someone. Ironically, it was Jake Tapper from CNN this morning who said, from a strategic standpoint, it is a brilliant move by Trump and the Republicans to focus the entire race on these four chicks who are, let's face it, radical Democrats. Yeah. They're trying to do things that... Ayanna Presley is the other one. Yeah. That, 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 that won't be done in this country. 
and shift the focus away from the candidates that are currently running. And with that statement, I completely agree, but they're the ones that are eating up all of the press. Like AOC is eating up the press every single day the way Trump is essentially on the, on the, the right, but she's not running. Mm-hmm. No, she's uh, just a millennial. Yeah. That's it. I mean, the other women I think are in their 40s, the other three women. Um, yeah. Uh, I but don't they know. They all are going for just such radical shit. Yeah, I mean, that's what, I mean, f- frankly, you want a couple of radicals on both sides, and then you want a very large group of rational people. The problem is, is that, and it's the same thing with uh, comedy in America these days, mm-hmm. it's the offended fucking, it's the outrage Olympics all the time. Right. So people are fucking pussies, and they're like, oh, She's mad about this. We have to change this now. Why? This one fucking woman is mad about something, so we have to change everything now? Get the fuck out of here. This is a country of 330 million people. Not, this isn't fucking Somalia, okay? Get yeah. the fuck out of here. I'm not saying leave the country, but maybe you should. Are you saying if you hate it that back? much? No, I'm saying if you, if you dislike the way things are in this country that much, sure, try to fight for change in your community, but don't try to affect national policy to reflect your personal fucking opinion, okay? Fuck you. Get that bullshit out of here, man. Yeah, and that's, that's what not I how, agree That's with. not how America works. Like, if you can't put yourself in other people's shoes, people that actually fucking were born here, yeah. then get the fuck out. 